All right, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. It's a hot one today. Nice and bright and sunny. We're out here with the M6EX version 2. This is the latest 10 liter model that we have available. It's got the latest Agri Assistant software that we've done a couple videos on in our Lunch and Learn, so make sure to go check those out as well. Um, this is an amazing system. If you want to get started in spraying drones, this is the way to go. It's under 55 pounds, so the FAA regulatory process is straightforward and easy. Uh, it's a very inexpensive system. You guys can check out the pricing on our website, hse-uav.com. Again, it's a 10 liter or 2.6 gallon capacity. It's got a FPV camera with lights for nighttime operation, uh, long range on the control system. The software is incredibly easy to use and has all the features you expect, like importing KML files, uh, flight logging, etc. This does have obstacle avoidance, uh, radar front and rear, and you guys are gonna see that in the software today as well, along with radar terrain following. Uh, terrain following. Uh, this system is completely designed to be service in the field. Uh, there's just about nothing that you can't fix on this aircraft in the field, which is why we offer a spare parts kit with our productivity kit. Uh, we offer a spare parts kit and training is included, either virtual or on site right here at our location in Florida. Uh, Let's not uh, waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get started creating a flight plan. I've already got this one turned on and loaded. You can see here, one thing I do want to show you how easy this is to actually break down. I'll actually share a video uh, on Instagram later of my three-year-old putting this together, just to give you an idea of how easy this is. But the arms simply just fold down. They just latch in place. So the breakdown procedure and swapping out the battery is super easy. Just got a simple latch, it slides right out. The breakdown and assembly process of this aircraft takes literally seconds. So let's go ahead and get started with the software. So I'll switch over here to our view of the software. You can see already um, we have our uh, uh, obstacle avoidance radar picking up uh, actually us in the background here, which is pretty cool. So let's here. Oh, hold on. I don't think this is working. You guys aren't able to see what I'm seeing. Let me let me reconnect my uh, tablet real quick. Yeah, it disconnected. Well, darn. Well, this is what happens when you do stuff live, but it's okay. We'll get it right back up and running. No problem. Where are we at? Here we are. There we are, we're back. Let's go back to our app. Let's go ahead and go to our ground plan. There we are, now, now we're up and running. So here's our different options that we have for planning methods. So we can uh, use an RTK uh, point device that allows you to actually walk your field with an RTK accuracy and mark points in the field. You can use the aircraft flight GPS to mark your boundaries. We can use a map selection, which is what we're going to do today, which is simply tapping on the map to select a boundary. We can do waypoint planning using RTK, and there's also options to import files, like a shape file or a KML file, very easily importable. We've already done a video, a separate video on that, so make sure to check that out. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on map selection. Let's call this one August Demo. Let's set up another one here. One thing I like about this is it sets the point. The, the, the point is in the center of the map and you simply move the map around to mark it. Just makes it so much easier, in my opinion, to, uh, to set up. You can also go back, for example, and adjust the point really easily. So you can move it around like this and you can adjust it to be perfectly square if you want. That looks pretty good. We can also add obstacles. So we have options here for polygon or circle obstacles. And let me just make sure, guys, that we're streaming good. Everything looks good. Awesome. We'll go ahead and do a uh, circle obstacle in this case. We'll just put one right in the middle. Of course, if we add trees or other objects, we can add as many obstacles as we need. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit save. Uh, no need to continue mapping. What we're going to do is just go back to the one that we just created here, August demo. We're going to go ahead and share it. That's gonna allow us to actually share it to our account and fly it. Uh, let's see, what we'll crop type. Well, let's do corn and confirm. 
Very good, publish text succeeded. We'll just hit the home button at the top left. And if you guys want more details on the flight planning and using Agri Assistant, again, we've done a few other videos on this in the past. Uh, I urge you guys to take a look at those. Let's go to the clipboard at the top left. Hit August demo. And here is actually where we can really cr uh, adjust our flight pattern accurately so we can change the direction. I actually want to fly it this way. Let's see, I want to go this way so you guys can see it a little bit better. That looks perfect. Let's see, let's make our swath a little wider. I do have everything set to metric units here. Let's go to five meters. Of course, you can change that. that. Looks pretty good. You know what? Let's make our distance around this obstacle a little bit wider. So let's go to obstacle boundary distance. I mean, you guys can just see how simple this is to operate. Hit OK. That looks perfect. All right, let's go ahead and just double check all of our instruments at the top here. We can see we are connected. We have our batteries at 50.3 volts, that's fully charged. Our satellite count is 13 satellites, that's very good. We are in the correct flight mode. Let's see what our spray, we're set to spray manual. I am gonna run the pump at 100%. However, of course, this does have a flow, uh, a flow meter on board, so you can run with a certain gallons per acre as well. But just so you guys can see the spray a little bit better, we are going to run at 100% capacity. So we'll go ahead and hit the start button here. Just confirm all of our flight path. We're good, our home point. All right, hit start. And here we can adjust our, our pump again here. We're at 100%. We'll set our flying speed to about three meters per second. That looks good. We'll have our terrain radar on. Uh, let's do, yeah, four meters is fine. That's about 12 feet. Um, CT is a coordinated turn. We're actually going to leave that off. That looks good. We'll go ahead and confirm. It's going to upload the mission. And you guys can see just how fast and easy this is actually, uh, it actually is to do this. So we'll let this upload. Uh-oh, timed out. Let's try again. Confirm. There we go. Awesome. So this is really cool. It does a final task check before we're ready to fly. So it's checking that our GPS signal is good, our compass is normal, our IMU is normal, and it also allows us to adjust our takeoff altitude. Let's bring that up a little higher. Go to four. Awesome. So we're actually ready to fly. So we can go ahead and slide to the right and you guys are gonna see it's just gonna take off and go. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. All right guys, I'm gonna do my best to follow the aircraft now. Here we go. So it's gonna to go to the start point. Make sure my pump is set to auto mode. It is. So we should see it adjust its height for spraying and begin spraying. Guys, it's very sunny today, so it is going to be hard to see the actual spray, but I think you can see it. Let's zoom in a touch there. How cool is that? This M6E system is just a proven, reliable platform. It works incredibly well, and this latest version of Agri Assistant and the new flight control system that's on board this called the K++ flight controller, which is an updated version of our previous uh, E6 system that was on these systems, is unbelievably stable and reliable. We do have a bit of wind today, which you guys can see, um, but it is so, so stable. It is so reliable and the obstacle avoidance is unbelievable. It works incredibly well. I've actually learned a few things about it using it in the last couple weeks here. Uh, with how it operates, but it, it actually has the ability to automatically fly around obstacles. So if it detects an obstacle, it can actually move the aircraft in the direction of which the aircraft has already flown, which it knows is safe, and fly in that direction. You can also uh, manually, uh, if it detects an obstacle automatically, you can manually fly around the obstacle using the controller, 
and it will actually, uh, it's very intelligent. We'll, we'll probably do a whole video on the obstacle avoidance system uh, in on its own, but it works super, super well. Let me, um, let me go back and get you in a larger screen here so you guys can see it a little bit better. You guys can see the green line here is where we've actually sprayed, but let's go ahead and go full screen so you guys can get a better view. Here it is again. Looking awesome. Let's adjust our altitude a little bit. One thing I love about this system is that you can basically make any adjustments on the fly without slowing the aircraft down. So I can bring the aircraft down a little bit. I'm just holding the throttle stick on the controller down and bring it nice and low and you can adjust for any obstacles or altitude uh, while you're flying. So now it's going to come back. Oh, there we go. We can see the spray pattern pretty well there. It is quite windy today, so we are expecting a little drip, but it's really not that bad. It's quite contained. It works great. The system does have a dual pump system and four nozzles on board. There's a little bit wider view, guys. And guys, you know we love to do live demos like this, so if you do have any questions, please post them in the comments. We'll answer them as quickly as possible. And um, I noticed this morning we passed 800 subscribers, so thank you guys again for, for being such uh, 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 you know, long-term subscribers for us, and we welcome any new subscribers as well. Uh, again, please do subscribe because this is how you get to see these amazing demos and videos of these new systems. And soon we're going to have our new G200 platform that's based on the same uh, system as well so i'm excited to show that you guys saw it stop spraying for a moment uh, and it actually just went around the obstacle let me show you on the software what that looks like you guys see how it actually flew around that obstacle pretty cool you can see again it's going to go around it actually stops the pump as well goes around the obstacle you can see it flying around on the map there and then continue spraying as it resumes. So it's very seamless. And one thing that I love about this system, again, you can override the aircraft at any time, essentially. So if I grab my controller here, I know you guys can't see it, but I got the controller in my hand, and as it's flying forward, I'm gonna tell it to go to the left. The aircraft is going to immediately stop. It's gonna allow me to fly manually around an obstacle. So I'm just, I told it to go left, I'm telling it to go forward now. And when I stop here, you can notice it's going to hover. And this is something super cool. You'll notice at the bottom here, it gives me an option to continue my mission. I'm going to hit continue, and it's pretty intelligent. It allows you to project to the point at which you want to resume from. So you can actually select which point you want to resume from. And uh, you can select where you want to uh, continue your mission from where your obstacle is. So really, really cool. So if you were at the end of a row, for example, you might want to choose number two uh, or number three. In this case, we're going to go to number one, projection point one. Hit confirm, and it's actually going to go back over on the line that we were on, but ahead of where the obstacle would have been. Really, really, really slick system. And it's so simple. Again, this, that's what I love the most about this system is just the ease of use and simplicity of it is out of this world. Again, we are able to adjust our altitude at any time here, so let's bring it down a little more. We'll bring it nice and low. Oh, actually guys, you see what it's doing now? It's climbing. And what it's doing, it's actually returning to home. So we are actually out of water. And I intentionally didn't quite fill it, so you guys can see what it does. I was expecting this to happen any minute. So it's returning home. Oh goodness, there we are. I can't quite go that high, guys, <laughs> on the camera. Where are we at? <laughs> there we are. <laughs> so now it's actually landing.
So what happens when uh, it automatically stops the mission is it creates what's called a breakpoint, which allows us to resume that mission from that point forward. So we can actually uh, fill the tank up and resume that mission. So guys, this is uh, this is my little three-year-old son. He's out here watching uh, the drone today, and he was actually learning how to assemble this aircraft. So he was actually able to put all the arms up uh, on your own. You want to show them how to do it? So you put the arms down like this. And look, lift them up. You know how to do it. There you go. Just lift them up. Literally a three-year-old can put this aircraft together. So again, guys, if you want to learn more about this system, just visit us on our website at hse-uav.com. Um, there's a ton more information on this particular model on there, and we're going to be continuing doing demos and videos on this system in the future. I want to thank you guys again for, uh, for joining us and uh, seeing this system. We do have a lot of other videos uh, displaying the software as well. That's really where the magic happens with this system. Uh, check it out on our YouTube channel, of course, you're watching it here at HSC-UAV. But go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we do uh, live videos all the time and we've got some really exciting ones coming up with a live unboxing and also a live stream from the AUVSI event in Georgia. So I'm really excited to, uh, to show you guys that and just showcase new technology. Um, that's really about it for today's demo. I think we got a pretty good idea of how this system works. Uh, we're gonna be doing more demos in the future with this system and showing some of the other uh, uh, technology that this software has. And uh, uh, one thing I really like just to, and I showed this briefly on another video, but it has what's called an M plus mode, which is basically a manual plus mode. This allows you to actually fly the aircraft manually, but lock the course, which means it'll fly a perfectly straight line and you just hit a button on the tablet that'll allow you to shift it either left or right. So guys, I mean, I think that's about it for this uh, demo. We'll keep this one a little bit brief. And uh, again, thank you guys for bringing us to 800 subscribers. That's awesome. I can't wait to get to 1,000. Um, and I think we'll uh, go ahead and uh, close this out and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again, guys. Bye.